good morning my dear class 4 students so students how are you all so students i think all of you are just watching all your videos that we are providing you through our online classes so here i am your science teacher and today students we will discuss a very basic topic of our science book from our science book that is classification of living things and non living things so students as you know that this word the complete you can say our complete the earth or you can say the universe is filled with variety of things in our daily life we see so many different types of things inside our house outside our home uh, or in our school or wherever we go in our life we see different different types of things like we see furniture electronics items food plants birds insects soil stones rocks books eraser pen pencil there are so many things that we see around us in our daily life so students on the basis of some specific characteristics of these things all the materials or you can say all the things around us are divided into two main categories the first one is living things and second one is non living things so students the things like water soil furniture books pen pencil wall eraser are categorized in the non living things and the things like human beings we yes we the human beings plants animals birds insects small small organisms all these are categorized into living things okay students so these are the different different things that we used to find in our daily life and on the basis of their characteristics they are divided into two main categories living things and non living things living things are the natural things or you can say they are made by nature so and the non living things are either made by nature or made by human being just like this laptop that you are seeing here is made by human being and the soil that is a non living thing and made by nature so all the living things are made by nature and all the living things made by nature and non living things are either made by nature or by human beings so now students let's move with the definition of living things and non living things here you can see there are two images the first image is of two cute little birds and here it is a image of a charkha so can you tell which one is living and which one is non living yes the birds are living and the charkha is a non living so let me tell you their definition first living things they are the living beings that are alive and composed of tiny particles like cell yes the cell this cell is not the cell that you use in a, in your toy games in your toys or in your remote tv remote or ac remote no students this cell is a small 
you can say part of each and every living things that you will get to know about the cells in your next classes and the non-living things those objects or items that do not exhibit any sign of life are called non-living things like let's take an example of this charka or you can say let's take an example of a pen or a pencil that you have if you have a pencil and keep that pencil at a corner of your table and after one day two day three days four days 15 days 30 days one year two year three year four year as much as as much time as you will put that pencil at the corner of your table that will remain just as it is there will not be any there won't be any change in that pencil until unless if anyone just touch that pencil because that pencil is a non-living thing so means the non-living things doesn't exhibit any sign of life so what are the sign of life the sign of life is growth of body movements of body reproduction sensation these are the sign of life and that is not present in non-living things so now let's discuss with each and every sign of life yeah, or you can say the characteristics of life so students the first and the very important characteristic is food yes all the living things like we the human beings the plants insects birds fishes all of us need food to get energy and that energy is utilized to do various activities just like you i think uh, just few times ago you have you had a uh, your breakfast okay and that breakfast when goes inside your body it gives you energy yes the energy to do your work like writing work reading work or the watching these video work in that work your mental work is going on so food is the source of energy for us for the living beings and this energy is utilized to do various activities next one is non-living things yes students have you ever seen your box having food no na yes because non-living things do not need food for their survival yes have you ever seen your television having water no have you ever seen your arrow having water drinking water or have you ever seen your books having food or or ice cream or a pizza or a burger or you can say the fruits or a chapati or a dal chawal kind of material no because that is a non-living things and non-living things do not food for their survival now let's move to our next characteristic that is growth here yes, students all living things follow a life cycle as that starts with our birth that is all living things born then they grow and finally they die okay but non-living thing doesn't grow do not grow and they remain same as it is okay let's take a example of you you around seven to eight years back when you have just arrived in this world you were just so tiny so small that you can fit into the lap of your parents but now you are grown this much that your parents won't be able to put you in their lap so because your body is growing yes have you seen a tiny little plant 
and as the plant grows on it becomes a joint tree because all the living things follow the life cycle means first all the all the living things born then they grow and ultimately the their life ends when they die but this is not possible in the non living things because all the non living things remain same as it is until unless anyone or any force will change suppose you have let's take an example of a eraser suppose you have a brand new eraser in your box and you are not using that eraser so that eraser will look same throughout the time until unless you will start using that eraser okay students now let's move to our next characteristic that is yes all the living things move from one place to another place for different different activities like whenever you need to walk you just stand on your foot feet and then start moving that is the movement but this movement is not possible in non living things because non living things cannot move by their own until unless a human being or a external force move them so they cannot move by their own suppose let's see example of sleepers there are a, there is a pair of a sleeper and this pair of a sleeper cannot move by its own okay until unless we put on these sleepers and start moving so it's living beings that move now you will think movement is not present in plants because they remain fixed at a place throughout their life but no students movement is also present in plants because they move in the upside or you can say upward direction as a plant grow first it is a few inches then after some days it grows it branches grows there the new leaves new bird new flower new fruits start growing on that plant so this is how the plant shows its movement in the upside or the sideways directions so all the living things move from one place to another place for different different activities but this movement is not present in the non living things now next characteristic <coughs> that is yes very important breathing only living things breathe to stay alive yes for us for human beings for plants for insects birds snakes all living things need to breathe to stay alive and in the process of breathing we human beings and other animals takes in oxygen gas and release carbon dioxide but the non living things because they don't have any life so they do not breathe <coughs> sorry so breathing is a very important characteristics of only living organisms and even plants also breathe they takes in carbon dioxide gas and releases oxygen gas now next one is again very important that is reproduction and only because of reproduction this entire earth is filled with different different types of organisms so let me tell you the meaning of reproduction reproduction means producing of its own kind means either by giving birth or laying eggs or by producing seeds in the plants so all living things produce of its own kind by the process of reproduction means sare living organisms ke kya hote hain unke bacche hote hain either by 
giving birth to young ones or by laying eggs or by producing seeds in plants now the non living organ non living things yes the non living things do not reproduce if you have a pencil in your box and until unless you will not put another pencil in your box there is no method available to reproduce that pencil to the another pencil because that is a non living thing so non living things do not reproduce and all the living things yes all the living things reproduce by the different different methods that you will get to know in your later on classes now next characteristic that is response yes it is very important to stay remain or you can say to survive in our surrounding response means the living things have sense organs as you know we have five sense organs eyes nose tongue skin and ear so most of the living organisms have their sense organs and due to which they respond to the change in their environment this is a characteristic of living things but the non living things do not feel so let me give you an example of response suppose you are sitting in a chair and doing your work and sudden all of a sudden a small insect like a mosquito sits at your back and just bite you just within a few second you get to know that something happens in my body and then you start itching that place in your body this is our response system okay but this response system is not at all possible in living things let's uh, take a example of a uh, pencil suppose you are working with your pencil just writing something and all of a sudden your pencil just fell down on the floor have you ever seen that pencil crying due to pain no because that pencil is a non living thing and non living thing do not feel okay students so response is a very again very important characteristic of only living organisms now students today i have gave you a knowledge about living things and non living things and then i have gave you the difference that how there are some characteristics that are present only in living things and this characteristic these characteristics are not present in non living things so here i am giving you a homework that you will have to prepare a list of living things and non living things that are present at your home just take a closer look of each and every corner of your at your home and make a list at least 10 live 10 non living things and at least 8 to 10 living things then after making this list only you have to take things from your home not from outside because you are not at all allowed to go outside of your home so be at your home make this list and then take a picture of this list or you can say take a click <coughs> sorry click that list and then send this list to me in this email id that is vbb shakarpur online classes at the rate gmail.com just send your 
list it is your homework to send the picture of your list to me in this email id along with your name class section so that i will see your homework so it is very important for you to mention your name class and section and if you are having any query any question related to our today's video just give me feedback or you can ask your any query to me that's it for today students just make this list start exploring your home and be active all the day okay enjoy your activity be at your home be safe thank you